Hello YouTube viewers. I wanted to give you a look at the trailer, Paulina, with the back door open and just let you see how roomy it is with the bed in the up position. A couple chairs set on the back. You can see I've got some legs here now on the, the back. They fold nicely when the door is up. We'll just walk up here on top. Uh, let you take a look at the 1400 watts of solar and see just how well they've done over the last over a year traveling down the road at over 70 miles an hour and over 3,000 miles of travel there's not been any deterioration that I have seen You can see here too where the uh, fuel tank is for the diesel heater. I wanted a stainless steel unit. I thought it would be a little tougher, especially on the outside of the unit. Let you get a view here from inside the trailer looking out. Here's the head unit and the escape window over the sink. You can see there's plenty of room here. This is where the 48 volt battery is located up underneath that. You can see here the E-Track the bed locks into when it's down low. It's now locked into the E-Track above with the uh, power plug on for the lights. See the dual voltage panel there, 12 volts and 120 volts, microwave. Did put a bug screen on it. It's been kind of nice to have that. And here is the bathroom area. I did film it with a wider angle camera. I hope you'll be able to appreciate what it looks like a little better with that wider angle. That's what I've got. I went ahead and removed the cover off of the 48 volt, 272 amp hour, 13 kV battery. It's 16 lithium cells. This gives you a good look at that. Of course, I normally have it covered, not real pretty except to those who enjoy that. There is a BMS there on the front. Keeps everything in balance. Did take a lot of time to cushion each cell and also put a rubberized mat underneath it with the strap above it as it travels down the road. And this battery, 200 pound battery, is mounted right above the uh, dual axles. Here's the cover that I have removed, and I'll just slip that back over it, but I wanted you to be able to see where it sits. You can get a good look at the openness of the unit. It really is handy. The bed will go straight up, and I'll show you that in some other pictures here. Someone was very kind and made a nice hat for, for uh, me, showing Hallina on it. Hopefully you can see that. My wife made these cushions here to allow us to sleep in either two directions. We can either sleep fore and aft or across. If we have three or four of us, it's kind of nice to be able to just sleep with our feet towards the front or back. If it's just two of us, we can don't need those pillows. But this does give you, hopefully, a good view of the unit with the door open and from all the way here at the back. Here's a little welcome mat. 
and this is typically how we have it set up. Peaches and Coach is our grandma and grandpa name for our nine grandchildren. I went ahead and put this screen up. It's been real handy for warmer weather. I'll first take you into the bathroom area. This is in travel mode. I have a little bar here that goes across that holds everything in place. This is FRP material on the walls. And here's the full shower area. These are Trone devices from IKEA. Very neat storage devices, typically used for storing shoes, but I've used them for reusing for towels and everything else. Walk you into the trailer unit here. Here's the sink area. As I say, we're in travel mode, so you see a lock in place here on the cabinet, the rolling cabinet. Have lights above, just underneath the head of the mini split. I'm going to go ahead and turn those lights off, maybe give you a little better look at that. And then as we travel around here, made minor improvements like this to put a trash can here on the side. And you can he see here the monitor for the four cameras. So you can see all the way around the unit. Also went ahead and installed a Chinese diesel heater. It has been working really good. I really appreciate that. It just sips the power. This is the E-Track that the bed locks into when it's either up or down. And I use some of these little devices uh, for many reasons. One of the things is the uh, is a little hammock, hammocks for my grandkids. They can swing from here. I'll show you some pictures. I wanted to give you a look at the sleeping area in Hallina with the hammocks up. They are locked into the position where the bed would be if it were traveling down the road if it were locked in the upper position. So we've just gone ahead and strung some hammocks from that upper area and then we have the bed down below and we got about 20 inches from the bottom of the hammock to the bed and that's with a pillow in it. I think uh, if a child were in it it would be a little bit higher. But this was just an idea I came up with to try to accommodate a couple of grandkids. I think it would be a fun thing for them too but we'll see. This is the power panel. Many of you know that uh, I use this piece of metal here that I cut out from the trailer window and I installed in it the uh, monitoring of the battery, the monitoring of the tanks. Here we can see what the gray level is at. And uh, inside and outside switches for lights, main power shutoff. Uh, I've integrated in some really stout handles here for both on the inside and outside. Grab handles. This is the power for the awning. And of course it's always good to have a 
fire extinguisher just inside the door. I hope you enjoy this wider angle view and I'll go ahead and open up the unit and show you some of the outside of it. Thank you and uh, subscribe if you get a chance. Appreciate it.